Hello, and welcome to the Demoet series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. Demoets are brief instructional videos that demonstrate specific features of TDV. In this Demoet, we discuss the Packaged Query Single Select option. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining the Packaged Query Single Select option and outlining its importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of the single select option. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoet. Let's begin by discussing what the single select option is and why it is important for our customers. As we have seen in a previous demoet, Packaged queries are a way for TDV to execute non-standard data access statements by pushing them down unchanged to the underlying physical data source. This enables great flexibility for using non-standard statements with TDV, but it also limits the ability of the TDV optimizer to tune queries because TDV cannot change the statements in the packaged query. For example, if we want to add a WHERE clause filter to the results of a packaged query, TDV cannot modify the packaged query to include this filter. Instead, TDV must retrieve the complete results of the packaged query and perform the filtering itself. This can lead to inefficient network usage and longer response times for data consumers. However, if the packaged query is a single statement operation that returns a result set, the Packaged Query Single Select option may be selected. This option enables TDV to modify the packaged query and push more work down to the physical data source. The Single Select option is important to our customers for several reasons. It gives more power to the TDV optimizer, enabling it to push more work down to data sources. This can result in faster processing, more efficient network usage, and faster throughput for data consumers, since less processing is required on the TDV server. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of the single select option. Here is the business problem that we illustrate in this demo. We are using a packaged query to access data on a PostgreSQL database. The packaged query lets us use PostgreSQL's non-standard limit keyword. We then use the packaged query in a virtual view, which adds a WHERE clause filter. Unfortunately, TDV must bring back the entire result set of the packaged query and then filter the results. This means we are using the network inefficiently, and we are also adding to the processing load on TDV. In addition, the PostgreSQL data source may have indexes defined that would make our filtering even more efficient. We'll use the single select option to enable TDV to push the filter down to the data source and improve overall efficiency. You can easily build the resources needed for this demo from scratch. However, users may import a car file that is available with the additional resources that accompany this demo. The car file uses the examples data that is delivered with TDV, so no new data source has to be configured. We'll begin by showing the processing flow when the single select option is not chosen. This packaged query uses the non-standard limit keyword which Postgres uses to limit the number of rows returned by a query. Note that the single select option is not chosen. Now we create a view that uses the packaged query and adds a WHERE clause filter. As the execution plan shows, TDV must add its own filter step because it cannot modify the packaged query in order to add the filter. This increases the amount of work that must be done on the TDV server, and it also forces us to bring unwanted rows over the network connection between Postgres and TDV. We also see that TDV views the packaged query itself as simply a black box. It is viewed as a stored procedure that cannot be modified. Now let's try the same packaged query, but with single select turned on. 
we create a view with the same filter. The execution plan is now simpler. The filter step is gone and the procedure step has been replaced by a fetch. The fetch step is interesting. With the single select option chosen, the original contents of the packaged query now appears enclosed in parentheses as a subselect, enabling the where clause filter to be appended to the query. The filter now pushes down to the data source, which should be more efficient. Now we can understand why the single select option can only be used with packaged queries that perform a single select statement. Let's use the multi-part option to create a new packaged query that performs a delete statement before the select. We'll choose the single select option, which is invalid in this case. Now, when we create a view using this packaged query, the execution plan embeds the packaged query contents in a subselect. However, the subselect is clearly not a valid SQL statement, and it will fail upon execution. We have seen both valid and invalid examples of the packaged query single select option. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. Packaged queries are a way for TDV to execute non-standard data access statements by pushing them down unchanged to the underlying physical data source. This enables great flexibility for using non-standard statements with TDV, but it also limits the ability of the TDV optimizer to tune queries because TDV cannot change the statements in the packaged query. For example, if we want to add a WHERE clause filter to the results of a packaged query, TDV cannot modify the packaged query to include this filter. Instead, TDV must retrieve the complete results of the packaged query and perform the filtering itself. This can lead to inefficient network usage and longer response times for data consumers. However, if the packaged query is a single statement operation that returns a result set, the packaged query single select option may be selected. This option enables TDV to modify the packaged query and push more work down to the physical data source. The single select option is important to our customers for several reasons. It gives more power to the TDV optimizer, enabling it to push more work down to data sources. This can result in faster processing, more efficient network usage, and faster throughput for data consumers, since less processing is required on the TDV server. Thank you.